Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we are creating this homepage over here using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. In the previous video, we created the featured section of our website. Now, in this video, we will create this about section. So, let's get started. Right here, I'm in my source code and let's go to the HTML file. All right, let's go outside this featured section division and let's create a new section with an ID of about. We need to have all the content inside a specific max width. So let's add the container division over here. So let's tap dot container. And uh, we need to have this left division and this right division. So let's create a division with the class of left. And in the left division, we need to have an H2. And let's copy this text and let's paste it over here. And then after that, we need to have a paragraph and let's copy this text and let's paste it over here. And then we need to have these two sections over here. So let's create a division with a class of features container. And in that we'll have each of these different features. So let's create a division with a class of feature. And in that we need to have the icon. So let's create a division with a class of icon. And for the icon, let's type IMG. And in the source, let's type images forward slash check icon dot SVG. And after the icon, we need to have a heading. So let's copy this and let's create an S3 for this heading and let's paste it over here. And then we need to create a paragraph. Let's copy this text and let's paste it over here. Now we need to have one more feature. So let's copy this feature division and let's paste it down here and let's change the text. So let's copy this beautiful UI and let's paste it over here. And uh, let's copy this text and let's paste it over here. And then down here, we need to have this button. So let's go ahead and go outside the features container division, which is this uh, container division. And let's create a button. Let's create an anchor tag. And here, let's add a class. And let's add a class of BTN. Now, this is a different kind of button. We need to have the outline for the button. And when you hover over this, we need to have this hover effect. So we have already created this button over here at the top over here in the hero section. So for that, we have added this class of outlined. So let's tap outlined over here. And for the text of the button, let's type learn more. And then on the right side, we need to have the image. So let's go outside the left division, this left division right here. And let's create a division with the class of right. And in that we will have the image. And let's tap images forward slash image one.jpg. And now if you go back to our website, here we can see that we have all the content displayed over here. We have the heading, paragraph, the icon, and all those things over here. Now let's go ahead and style this using CSS. So let's go back to our styler CSS file. And the first thing we need to do is we need to add a background color for this uh, section. So here we can see that we have this separation and we need to bring it up a little bit. So let's go ahead and add this background color. So I'll just create a comment I just type about section. And uh, we have added an ID of about. So let's tap hash about. And let's add a background color of F5, F5, F5. I'm going to bring this up a little bit. So right now it is at the bottom of the featured section. So let's add a negative margin. And let's set it to minus 60 pixels. And then to compensate with this uh, margin top, let's add a padding top. And let's set it to 180 pixels. And this is how it looks. Now, the about section is on top of the featured section. Now we need to send it behind this featured section. So for that, let's go to the featured section and uh, we have this division with the class of featured. So let's target that and just start featured and uh, let's set a Z index of, let's try two. And it is still not being displayed at the top. So if you go back to the featured division and if I inspect this, and uh, if you go to the feature division and here we can see that we have this uh, message and it says the position static property prevents Z index from having an effect. So we need to go ahead and add a position of relative. And now we can see that the featured section is on top of the about section. All right now the next thing we will do is uh, we will have these two divisions left and right divisions one next to the other. So if you go back to our HTML file here we can see that inside the about section we have this container division and in the container division we have the left and the right divisions so let's add a display of flex to the container of the about so let's tap hash about container 
and let's set the display to flex and uh, align items to the center and let's add a gap of 80 pixels but now let's go ahead and change the width of these icons so let's type section and i'll just target all the sections and let's tap icon and let's set the width to 30 pixels and now we can see that we have the correct width for the icons now we need to display these two features one next to the other so let's tap features container and let's set the display to flex here we can see that we have this uh, division with the class of features container so here let's add a gap of 40 pixels between the elements and let's also set a margin top of 32 pixels so now we can see that we have it displayed correctly now we need to have the width of both these features as the same width so for that let's go ahead and target the feature division which is inside the features container and let's go ahead and set the flex to one so it will have the same width for both these features now for the buttons inside the sections we need to have a margin top so let's type section btn and let's add a margin top of 32 pixels let's change it to 28 pixels let's see how it looks and i think that looks all right now for all the sections in our website we will have a default padding so let's go back and let's go to the top and here let's add some styles for the sections so here let's tap section and let's add a padding of 140 pixels top and bottom and zero for left and right and now we can see that we have the correct padding for all our sections i think we can change it to let's try 120 pixels or right, that looks fine so with that we have designed the about section of our website so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day